This video shows you how to set up an inspection region on your FLIR A310 camera. Before we can use the MEO to detect and respond to temperatures, you first need to set up an inspection area or region of interest in the image. This video shows you how to set up that region of interest or ROI using FLIR IR monitor software. Before we can move on with this video, be sure to confirm that number one, you have the FLIR IR monitor software installed on your PC and number two, your A310 camera is able to communicate with your PC over an Ethernet connection. If you're not familiar with FLIR IR monitor software, you can find the installation files on a disk that ships with the A310 camera. If you are unsure about how to assign the A310's IP address, please refer to the video in this series devoted specifically to setting the A310's IP address. Okay, if you have IR monitor software installed and are communicating with your camera over Ethernet, you're ready to go. The first step is to launch the FLIR IR Monitor application. If this is the first time running the software, you will need to start by selecting the camera. Click in the IR Monitor window to open the Camera Selection dialog. All connected cameras will appear in the Available Cameras pane on the left. If you have multiple cameras connected, you should see all of the cameras in the Available Cameras list. Select the camera you would like to configure, then click and drag it to the Camera Grid region on the right. Next, click View Cameras in Grid to exit the dialog and switch to the Live Camera view. In the Live View mode, you should see a thermal image on the left and various controls on the right. Let's go ahead and change the color palette mapping to the Iron Bow palette to enhance the visualization. Pull down the palette control and select Iron. Next, we need to focus the camera. Proper focus is just as important when using thermal cameras because a fuzzy out-of-focus thermal image will not report temperatures accurately. Autofocus is often all you need, so try that first. If the autofocus image isn't as sharp as you'd like, you can manually fine-tune the focus with the near and far buttons. When you're satisfied with the focus, click the Analysis tab to get to the Region Setup tools. By default, the camera has one spot region defined. The MEO can monitor spot regions, but for this example, we want to monitor an area region. So let's start by switching off the spot region. Click Spot 1 in the list and then click Edit to open the Region Editing dialog. Uncheck the Show Spot Meter parameter and click Apply to switch off the spot meter, and then OK to exit. Next, we want to set up Area 1 as our Region of Interest or ROI. Select Area 1 and click Edit. Check the Show Area parameters to enable the new region. If you want to overlay the maximum and minimum temperatures from the region over the image, select both from the Show Min Max pull-down menu. Click Apply to enable the overlay region in the image. You can use the Position and Size parameters to fine-tune the size and position of the region. Click Apply to update the overlay as you go. When you're satisfied with the region, click OK to close the dialog box. You can now see the region overlay on the image, along with the hottest and coldest points in the region. Close IR monitor to exit. Now, you are ready to configure the MEO to respond to temperature changes in the region you just defined. That's all you need to do to set up a region of interest on the FLIR A310 camera. For more information on how to configure the MEO to work with this region, refer to other videos in this series. The video is about how to set up the 4 to 20 milliamp temperature range output and how to set up the digital output alarm demonstrate the steps. Thanks for watching and be sure to view the other how-to videos in this series for additional tips on setting up your MEO system.